Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this mini explosion box. So I've just got a little bit of decoration on the front there. And then when you take the lid off, the sides all pop out to reveal a little hand sanitizer. It's a cute little one there, perfect handbag size. And the colours match perfectly with the Valentine's gifts that I'm putting together at the moment. You've got a little platform there in the middle, but that's optional. So if you've got something a little bit taller, you can take that out. Um, you can decorate in here with sentiments, personalise it a little bit more if you want, and then it all folds up like so, and the lid then holds it all together. And I'm going to add this to my hamper. So let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how to make it. So this box will fit the 29 mil, which is the one fluid ounce hand gel. And this is from Bath and Body Works. So this was £2 in next and I got it a few days ago. By the time this video goes out, probably about a week and a half, something like that. So to make the main case, you'll want a piece of nine by eight and a half. And along the nine inch side, you're going to score at three and a half and five and a half. And along the shorter side, you're going to score at three and a half and five. Then what you want to do is score so stay along that eight and a half side you're going to score at three and five and a half you want to come down until you hit the three inch marker on this side here and again at five and a half come down until you're nearly at the three come a little bit above it you can join it up again in a minute flip that all the way around and repeat so again at three down to three and then at five and a half down to three and then pop it along the nine inch side and you're gonna do three and at six and do the same. So three, and you should now be able to join up to that score line you've just done. And then at six, again, you should now be able to join the other one. And then rotate all the way around and again, do the same three and six and you should join up. If I just catch the light there, you can see you should create this score line here in the corner. The reason I've done these is to take away all of this bulk because of the size that we've got. It's only little. You can't have all that folded in. It just wouldn't work. So we're going to cut a chunk of it away. Then for the lid, you want a piece of five and one eighth by four and five eighths. And you're going to score at three quarters and one and a half on all four sides. So three quarters and one and a half. Again, three quarters, one and a half, and then three quarters and one and a half. Okay. You then want to cut yourself for the base kind of platform. This is optional. If you've got something that is taller than this, but a similar size, um, but a similar width, then you may not want to have this because then you'll be able to have something taller inside. But I've done this just because I thought it looked quite nice to lift it. Um, but again, it is optional. But this is a piece of four by three and a half, but we're going to trim a little bit off in a minute. So fold and burnish all of the score lines on those pieces. Okay, so with the main one here, you want to cut out those squares in each corner. Okay, so once you've got that, take your scoreboard and you just want to add a score line just joining the corner of this section to the corner of the square or rectangle that's in the middle here. So you can see that and then you'll be able to fold that down. We can burnish that all a bit more in a minute. So I'm just finding a track, keep everything nice and straight. And then just fold those in. So fold it in like this see how that all folds in and then just give it a really good burnish and burnish all along okay so now we've got that explosion look to the box then take your lid and you'll have four squares in each corner so start with the longer side first This is a reinforced lid. You don't have to, if you don't want the reinforcement, don't have the outer kind of sections. You can cut that away. So you've just got one, the side tab, but I like to fold it back in again. 
Then you're going to remove the two outer squares. Okay, and then the top square. Like so, and then take a wedge off of the sides there. And then also off of the outer one here. You might also just want to take a little slither because it's going to be folding back inside. Just take a little bit off there. Okay, and then rotate it and do exactly the same again. Okay, so you should now have something like this. And then you want to add some glue to these tabs here. Do one at a time. Like so you're going to bring it under the other side there. Make sure you've got a nice right angle. Make sure you don't pull it in like that. If I just pull that in and then you get like a, a bit here, make sure they line right up. And then just add your glue onto these. Just make sure again, you've cut just a little bit away from them. You'll just find it will all fold in a little bit easier so and just fold each one in and that's going to reinforce the lid so push them right in and then get your bone folder and then you can really flatten all of those sides and just make it nice and crisp and neat it's like a matchbox kind of size there we go so now you've got a really nice strong lid ready to decorate and then going back to this piece here which is that base which is optional you would have already cut it to three and a half by four but you then want to take another little bit off so i just say do that measurement first because it's nice and easy and then this time you're just going to take a slither so you can see there just that little bit it's like the one sixteenth of an inch piece but if i show you it's a bit easier then than worrying about the actual measurement but just a, a thin amount there it's just going to bring that in just a little bit to sit inside the box there and then you want to score at half an inch and one inch on all four sides fold and burnish all the score lines and you're going to cut this exactly the same way that you just cut your lid so with the longer side facing you you've got your four squares you're just going to cut down all of them remove the outer two And the top one and then cut all the sides off again and then repeat on the opposite side there so you're going to stick all these the same way so add your glue and stick them under but this time you're not going to stick these all the way under you're going to just leave them attached like this so we've got this platform to attach it inside the box so just a little bit of glue on your tabs there and get those all attached okay so then all you need to do is just add a little glue just to the tops there and there and then just fold that in so you want that platform if you grab yourself some tweezers you'll be able to pinch those together Okay, so now that will be able to stick inside here and you should be able to bring up the sides and that all sit in there really nicely. I'm going to use my construction glue to attach this just so it's really secure. Like so. And then just place that down in the middle. I think that's the one for here. That's the one for the lid. This piece here is one and three quarters by one and a quarter. So I'm just going to stick that on top. I've then got these two pieces here for the thin sides and these are one and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I've got two in this print and then I've got two in the polka dot for the other side. So I'm going to stick those down.
Okay, so I've just stuck lots down. So I think I've done these ones here. These ones you'll want four pieces of one and three quarter by three and a quarter. And I've already decorated the front there. And I gave you that one there. These little ones, if you want to do the sides, it's a quarter of an inch by one and a quarter. Two of those, and then a quarter of an inch by one and three quarters. For the lid here, these ones are half an inch by one and seven eighths. You'll want two, and then half an inch by one and a half. And the one to decorate the lid is one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. Now, if you want to decorate these strips in here, I'm going to cut myself a few more in a minute. These are all a quarter of an inch by three and a quarter. And I've just marked up at a quarter of an inch up from the bottom there. And then I'm just going to cut across like so. So that will now sit in that space there. And then for the next one, you just need to check you get your right angles. So I've just flipped that one over. So now they're pattern to pattern. And then just copy angle there so now I've got one for that one and then one for that side and I'm just going to repeat that all the way around so you'll want eight pieces I don't think you need to do this side because you never see it even when it's closed it's all hidden so I'm going to stick all those down and I'm also going to finish with my decoration on the front So that's everything finished now. I've just added some little hearts that I had left over from other projects that I shared. I've heat embossed the little wax seal image from the Scent With Love stamp set. And I've just taken the always from this old Bright Rosa one, Birthday Wishes. So it says love always. I thought that was quite sweet. And then inside, take the lid off and you'll see it will all pop out. And I've just attached the... The hand gel there with a foam pad underneath and that just sits on there quite nicely but you could decorate all inside here you could stamp and have some sentiments inside here if you wanted to i think it looks nice with the pattern paper on these thin sides as well it just kind of really shows off that shape so i like to bring up the sides and then the front and the back and then the lid will hold it all together like so and it's nice and strong it holds itself in there really well, so it's not going to fall out. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little explosion box from me today. It's another great little stocking stuffer size, table favour size, you know, teacher's gifts, things like that. These are all, you know, great little ideas and handy as well. It's a nice little handbag size hand sanitizer there. So thank you, as always, for watching. If you've been watching all of the Valentine series, um, I hope you're enjoying the projects that I've been sharing. And if you've maybe just found my channel now, I will share the whole playlist here. But I also have six years worth of different Valentine's projects as well. So there's plenty to watch, along with all of the other occasions throughout the year as well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. Check out some other tutorials coming up now because you might want to watch those next and I'll see you again soon. Bye.